Hey, it's Espo on the Four Peaks Mini Bar, and I want to talk to you a little bit more about the Mike Budenholzer signing. Honestly, I wonder if it was written in the stars. And look, I know that's cheesy. It sounds ridiculous. But Mike Budenholzer was born in Holbrook, Arizona, right? His family is royalty there. His dad is a high school basketball hall of famer in the state as a coach. His mother was a teacher and then became mayor of Holbrook. He grew up as a Phoenix Suns fan and has talked about listening to the dulcet tones of Al McCoy, trying to be Paul Westfall, Sweet D and Alvin Adams on the court. This is a guy that bled purple and orange throughout his life. And then he went to the dark side. He went with Greg Popovich to the Spurs. He was a head assistant there for 17 years. And guess what that means? Yep. He was there every time Pop and the Spurs ripped the Phoenix Suns hearts out. He has four rings because of it. Yeah. If that wasn't bad enough, we all remember what happened in 2021 where he ripped victory from the jaws of defeat for his Bucks team and destroyed the Suns' best chances ever at winning a championship. He is basically the Darth Vader of Phoenix. Started good, was a hometown kid, and turned into the villain. But this story may have a complete redemption arc. Imagine if he comes in and he changes the Suns' culture. He gets the big three to buy in and all of a sudden, you have a 60-plus win team in the regular season, which Budenholzer's been known to do with teams, and you get a title that's been elusive for 56 years in franchise history. Mike Budenholzer becomes the most recognizable name as a coach in Suns history. He becomes a freaking Arizona legend. You build the statue to him out in front of the arena. It's the hometown kid makes good after ripping hearts out for two decades. If you are not rooting for Mike Budenholzer the person, I don't know what the hell is wrong with you. Because Mike Budenholzer is one of us. He's one of us, a diehard Phoenix Suns fan, and now he gets to live the dream. Working for the organization that meant so much to him as a kid and helped shape his destination as a professional. Without being a fan of the Phoenix Suns as a kid, I highly doubt he winds up as an NBA head coach. And now he has the chance to make good and do something no other coach has done. Mike Budenholzer, I'm wishing you well just as a fellow Suns fan. And it's going to be fun to see what you're able to do back in Arizona.